to decide that the things that I tried were in my life just to get high on. When I sit alone, come get a little known, but I'm ready back with another review. This time with Star Wars The Legacy Collection, Bomb Vindrin. Uh, Vim Din, sorry. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the new intro. Um, tell me what you guys think, and I also hope that you enjoy my new review spot, which will be my permanent review spot. It's in the bathroom of all places, but the lighting's great, so I figured it would do good. Um, before we go further, might as well point out that you are watching this video in beautiful 720p. Um, I did find out how to export my videos into HD, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, anyways, let's get right into the figure. I got this actually as a Valentine's Day present from my mom. I got home from school and it was at my house. Uh, quite a surprise, quite a nice surprise. Let's set Bomb Vim Din to the side and take a look at the packaging. Um, I like the vintage collection. I've made that clear before in some of my other reviews. Um, I think it's just a really nice line. Um, so you got you got a beautiful card back on the back. Um, Star Wars, this is from episode four. Um, Bomb, bomb Vindran Cantina Patron up there. Had a nice picture of Bomb. Um, you got, you know, just a bubble. In the back, you have a picture of the character. This is actually the first time Bomb Vimden has ever had a uh, figure, so there's no picture of an original figure because there hasn't been an original figure. Um, then, description of the, the later, you know, the vintage collection and the other figures on the bottom. I think this guy was released in Wave 5. Um, I could be wrong, but uh, yeah. So we really only see Bomb Vimden in Episode 4 in the back of the cantina scene, which, little Star Wars trivia for you guys, my favorite, favorite scene in any Star Wars movie is the cantina scene. So I'm actually in the middle of trying to collect all of the cantina characters that they've released so far. Um, and Bomb is a good addition to that collection. So anyways, um, looking at the detail on Bomb Vimden, it's really nice, actually. Um, you can see they did a really good job on his head sculpt. You can see his pitch black eyes right there, and they actually even added a little bit of an eyelid on the top. Um, you can see his horn sticking out um, of his head, nice painted brown. Um, the, the head sculpt is just spot on, and my camera is not really giving it justice, but I mean, comparing it to that card bat, look, I mean, it's, it's spot on. Um, then you have his nice um, studded vest with like metal studs. It feels really cool, actually. Um, his wrinkly undershirt, nice glove, hand, hands, um, really, really nice holster and belt right here. Um, boots, I mean, he, he's just painted really nice and sculpted very, very well. And actually something that I didn't think they would have had, but they did, was not only did they sculpt in the veins on the side of his head, but they actually painted them too, and I, I don't know how well that's showing up, but they painted blue on the, the veins, which is really nice. So uh, let me take out his accessories and give you guys a look at those. Uh, the gun does come out of the holster, giving you a nice standard blaster. I think this is the same one that came with the vintage collection, uh, best bin Luke Skywalker figure. Um, he comes with a nice... I guess this would be a, a rifle, um, I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, that's what it looks like to me. Star Wars guns aren't really my forte, but uh, that's, that's definitely what it looks like to me, some sort of blaster rifle. And of course, being a cantina patron, he comes with a nice cantina drink. Just a nice blue painted uh, white cup. But something neat is I actually added translucent blue plastic to the inside of the cup to really make it look like there's actually a drink in there. So going over uh, Bomb's articulation, being a vintage collection figure, the articulation is really, really nice. Um, the head is on a ball joint, so you can go up and down and rotate 360 degrees. Um, the arms go in and out, rotate all the way around. Got a ball hinge at the elbow, so they go forward. Not really back due to his uh, jacket, but that's not a big deal. Rotate at the elbow, uh, rotate at the wrist rotates at the waist and uh, no he doesn't it, it, this vest here actually makes it look like there's a ball joint at the waist but there's not unfortunately uh hinged hips i would have liked a ball jointed hip but since this is like wave five of the vintage collection it's forgivable um they weren't really putting those ball jointed hips on a lot of uh, figures yet 
uh, vintage collections figures, I should say. Uh, ball hinged knees, so they go back. Sorry, my this knees are still a little stiff on mine. And uh, forward, and rotate at the knee, and then uh, ball hinged ankles. So forward, back, and rotate there on the ankle. So very, very nice figure overall. Um, Bomb Vendrin, even if you're not, you know, that that big on obscure characters of Star Wars, um, he's a nice pickup nonetheless. Really a good addition to any Star Wars collection. Um, if you need, an, you know, an alien, or if you're definitely, if you're doing the uh, cantina scene like I am. But uh, Bomb Vendrin, nevertheless, an amazing figure in my opinion. Um, i definitely go out and get him if I were you. Uh, stay tuned for more reviews. Again, give me feedback on all the new additions to my channel. And let me know what you guys think. Uh, Till then, this is Eddie, signing out.